What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to model this gothic style window in Revit. So Revit is usually popular as a great software for creating modern architecture but sometimes you find yourself in need of modeling some old school, old style architecture and Usually people think it's very difficult to model something like this in Revit, but actually if you know how to use some of the basic options in Revit, it can be quite easy to model some complex geometry like this gothic window, for example. So without further ado, let's get into the video, but before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot, and if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. Okay, so here I am in Revit 2019, and here in the families, I'm just going to hit new family, and I'm just going to drop back a folder so I can use the metric, uh, the metric family template, I prefer using metric, and here I'm just going to go with metric window. So this is the one that we're going to be using. Okay, and let's just go to the exterior shot right now, to the exterior elevation. And here we have, this is basically a wall on which our window will be hosted. And this here we have a kind of a void that's cut through the wall. So the first thing I'm just going to do is I'm going to uh, extend this wall a bit up because this will be a bit of a taller window. And the next thing, you hover over this spot where the window is, you hit tab, the tab key once, and then you can select this void. And then you go into edit sketch and here you can see this is the void that it's cutting out the hole for the window. And now I'm just going to go here for with an arc and do something like this. And let's just mirror that to the other side and let's delete this. So now we have that gothic uh, window shape. So we hit finish and there you go. Now we have the hole, but of course this is just the beginning. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to add some of the elements inside of the window to make it look more stylish and more gothic. So how do you do that? Uh, if I go here to the reference level, you can see there is a reference plane in the middle of this uh, in the middle of this wall. And if I select it, it says center, front, back. So that's the reference plane on which we're going to be placing all of our elements. And if I go to exterior and if I go to create, most of the elements that I'm going to be creating will be sweeps because uh, they're probably the best for this kind of design. So I'm just going to go here sweep and first we need to sketch path. So select that and go to set work plane. And now as you can see here, it's currently at the reference plane exterior. That's the exterior plane of the wall, but let's flip it to the uh, to the center front back. That's the one that we want to use and go OK. And now I'm just going to use the pick lines tool, pick these three and then I'm just going to pick these two and then I'm going to select them and use the move tool and just move them down a bit kind of like like that. OK, so we're kind of splitting the window in two parts and you just go finish and then you go into edit profile. So now we're editing this profile and here we can go to view and let's go to reference level. So here we can see this is the little reference plane on which we're, we're drawing our profile. So first let me do a rectangle. That's usually the, the, a good beginning and let's do this at, I don't know, 25. So let's do this 25 as well. And then let's bring this to 25, okay. And then let's do another rectangle over here and you've got some overlapping lines, so let's just delete them. And this let's do at 12 and this at 12 as well. And maybe we can do a circle here, delete this line, go SL for split element and then trim and extend everything in place. And then here you can do again split element and trim and extend everything in place. Let's maybe bring this in a bit, so kind of go like this. And maybe we can fill it these edges over here at, I don't know, five millimeters. Okay, and let's go to the outside, so go to exterior, go finish, finish. And this is what you get. And if we go into 3D, as you can see, now we have this part of the window. Now let's continue this sill part or the, this outside of the window up here. So let's go back to exterior, go create, 
and go to sweep again, sketch path, set the work plane to front back, make sure it's there, and then you just go pick lines, you pick this line, this line, this line, and this line, and then you can extend these up a bit to the beginning of this arc, so you kind of do it like, uh, where is it? There it is. Okay, so now you just go finish, you go into edit profile, you go back to reference level, and now you can just use the pick lines and select all of these lines, so you're basically copying the, the profile. So you just copy this profile and then you just trim and extend these, this as well, oops, this was wrong. Let's do this line over here and then trim and extend. Yeah, and you just go finish, go into exterior, just go finish, and there you go. And now you can join these elements so it looks like one monolith element. And if we go over here, you can see this is what this looks like. It looks quite cool. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to split this window in two pieces. So how do you do that? Let's go into exterior and let's go to create. Again, let's do a sweep and let's sketch path and let's just create an arc kind of like this and make sure you extend it a bit over here so you go finish you go into edit profile and let's just go into 3d so we need to edit this profile in 3d and let's not make it too complex so let's just do a bit of a rectangle over here make sure it's not too large so let's do I don't know 10 by okay this is 20 and this should be let's see make it a bit smaller yeah let's do this at 6 so this is 12 and then you can just fill it to the edges with a radius of I don't know 4 millimeters kinda like that and once we have this you go finish finish and let's go to exterior and now we can mirror this to the other side and then we can join geometry and join these two up oops and sometimes if it doesn't work then just leave it unjoined and now let's put a very thin column in the middle here so just go reference level you go create extrusion and let's just do a circular column and it should be what, what did we have like 12 millimeters like that just go finish and go to exterior and it's over here it's hidden but you just extend it over here extend it over here make sure it's touching a bit yeah maybe you can extend it even more kinda like that yeah looks a bit better and if we go into 3d this is what we get so we get that middle column and let's do those characteristic three circles on top that I really like about gothic architecture and gothic windows so go to exterior and let's now uh, I, I usually like to sketch this pattern out so I do that by going to here to annotate symbolic lines circle and then I place one big circle over here maybe like that so I kinda place that circle there and then I do these two circles over here maybe it should be a bit smaller and then you kinda nod it in place so that that looks right and then you'll just mirror this one to the other side okay so what you do here so first one we have this oops I don't need this dimension go now back to create model sweep sketch path set the work plane to front back okay pick lines pick this thing go to 3d view go finish and now we need to edit profile and let's just do a circular profile for this of course you can be advanced and make something more complex for this circle but for this simple tutorial let's just leave it at a circle go back to exterior now we need to sketch the inside so go create again sweep sketch pad set work plane just to make sure that we're on front and back so we don't mess up so I'm just going to create one circle over here kinda like that maybe a bit smaller let's see I think this will work kinda like that and then you just use DM for draw mirror mirror to the other side 
and then you use this and you rotate it make sure you copy it by 90 degrees and you get something that looks like this and then you use the SL for a split element and you split all of these and then you use trim and extend and you trim them all in place so you kind of trim everything and then you go into 3D and you just go finish edit profile and again let's do a smaller circular profile and you just go finish and that's what you get so we get this cool little circle up on top and let's do the same thing over here so I'm just going to speed that up And there you go, here we have our classical gothic window in Revit. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching, please subscribe, like and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments or suggestions for future tutorials, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.